Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and I have to do another Moon Knight video. I just have to highlight how freaking strong this dude is. Man, I don't know how many times we all have to say it, but he is ridiculous. And then it is a sad shame that you need Mor Morbius to awaken this character. Man, it, that really is a bum deal, because I really would like to see everybody get this character because not only is he super powerful but he doesn't need no rage he doesn't need it yes if you want the optimal score in abx yes if you want him to be as strong as possible of course ctp of rage but we've taken on galactus whooped galactus's rear with an energy no problem in fact with a damage proc i still think he could do very well against galactus without having this all defense down from his awakened skill. He's just bonkers. We've shown that we could do stage 99 against Proxima, which is freaking insane, right? That's insane with a CTP of energy. But not only that, but we're going to do two little runs today. I'm going to show what he can do in ABX with this. And I know I'm late to the party on that one, but it's not a guy. It's just to show you guys what he can do in ABX with the CTP of energy and I actually think it probably could be a little bit better. I do have 55% physical attack on my cards and we're also going to do a run against Thanos. And you might be surprised at how well he can do against Thanos. He really is. His raw damage is just insane beyond having that all defense down. The build is exactly the same. I mean, I'm ranked 895 in the world. I mean, we have 29,800 physical attack. Everything's exactly the same as it was in the last video. I haven't changed anything. There's that leadership tag. Blah, blah, same Uru, just five star Uru's, nothing else in these slots. Uh, I could make them a little bit stronger, put some crit rate Uru's in here, but I'm not going to because I probably will slap a rage on because I'm going to be using this guy for combat hero day because he smashes Namor. Can you believe that I'm saying that? I can't believe I'm saying that. Smashes Namor. In World Boss, he really destroys him. It's crazy. But even in ABX, it's just nuts how much stronger he is. All the skills are six. Bully Awaken, Power of Angry Hawk set. And then, of course, the CTP of Energy, Mythic Uniform. And keep in mind, you know, I do have 55% physical attack on my cards. And it's just... <laughs> I mean, Moon Knight to me had the best upgrade of this update, but I'm a, be a very big PvE oriented player and I'm loving it. And by the way, just to let you all know, uh, I do want to do more videos on Dormammu. However, I'm still waiting for his potential. I'm getting that sweet 4% every single day and it freaking sucks. By the time I get this guy's potential realized, uh, the hype's pretty much going to be dead for him. In fact, the hype's pretty much already dead. I'm already seeing, I'm already seeing that people aren't really talking about him anymore or anything. I haven't really seen any PvP videos on this guy, so that's why you guys haven't seen any more gameplay from him because I'm just waiting to get that damn potential increase because I at least want to take him to level 70 and see how he does at level 70. So let's dive into the action and let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. Let's do it. And you know, you, we're going to run She-Hulk's leadership and Valkyrie. Valkyrie does have a CTP of insight. And we're just going to hit that 3-5 and then the awakened skill. And unlike World Boss, the beast stays pretty stationary. So, you, you know, your skills are, you're going to be able to keep the proc where it belongs. Pretty easy for the most part. It's just 3-5-4, 3-5-4, 3-5-4, 3-5 awakened skill. It's easy. It's honestly very, very simple. Just run around, 354, 354. And look at the damage he's already putting up. Look at that. We already hit a million points in 30 seconds. <laughs> With a CTP of energy. This is crazy. And what you do is you want to hit the awakened skill. You let the skill play out while that proc's engaged. And when he starts throwing out the boomerangs, then hit the 354 again. And then put the proc back on the 4. Now we're coming up to silence mode here. We're going to go ahead and hit 354 to keep the proc where it belongs. We see the little highlight there on the bar. We hit the one skill to silence the beast. And there we were able to keep the proc where it belonged. We did cancel a little early, but that's because we had to silence the beast. And it's more important to silence the beast than just try keeping the proc on this try to keep the proc engaged throughout the entire duration of the four skill. Silence is the most important thing. 
then your procs. But look at this. Look at this power from this dude. He is so freaking strong. And, you know, and I wanted to show this because I know a lot of you are actually really curious how well he can do with a CTP of energy in ABX. Here we go, here we go. And if you guys want an actual guide on this, I can do that. Three. Okay, we're going to wait because a minute 18, I'll silence again. We just hit 354. We didn't use our awakened skill. Now we're going to silence the beast. Now we're going to use our awakened skill. That's something you want to be careful about when you're facing ABX is you, you know, at a, at a two minutes and eight seconds, he'll silence, you need to silence the beast the first time. At a minute 18, you need to silence the beast the second time. So when you're getting near that minute 18 mark, if you're awakened skill, if you're thinking about using your awakened skill, don't. Wait. Wait. Don't waste that skill. Because if you use that awakened skill and the beast jumps over to the side, you're going to cancel it and lose all that damage. Okay, now we're waiting. We're going to hit the 3-5 Awaken skill. There we go. And then we're going to hit the 3-5-4. There we go. Heck yeah. And then we're going to hit that Silence. And you want to make sure when you're using him in the ABX, you definitely want to use the Silence uh, fairly early. As soon as that highlight shows up on the Life Bar of the Beast, you want to hit that one skill. Maybe a second afterwards. Because you have about a four second window. And it takes, I believe it's on Moon Knight's third hit from his third skill is when the silence actually takes effect. But look at this. Holy mother of God. I actually believe I could hit 6 million with an even better run. But five, over 5.7 million with a CTP of energy with 55% physical attack. That is a crazy damn score for a character using a CTP of energy. So, let's take on the purple monkey. Now this run here took me about eight tries to do. And look at the team we're running with guys. We're doing stage 50, stage 50. And we're using White Fox and Shuri. No Nick Fury. We have all damage to supervillain strikers. No Nick Fury guys. So after the first two phases against Thanos, the all defense down will not work from Moon Knight. That means it's just going to be his raw power. And he seriously, he just keeps shocking me and shocking me and shocking me how strong he is. Honestly, if I wasn't ABX oriented, I would just run with this CTP of energy and keep it that way. He is plenty, plenty beyond strong enough to do everything you need to in the game with that damn thing. It is just, he's so, even with a regular damage proc, this guy is going to be massive. It's just, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Run up here. Ooh, going to get time frozen. Okay. Switch our character. Three, five, four. And that heal, this is something else that's nice. You don't have to bring any healing strikers because he has that insane heal on his fifth skill. And just like I mentioned in the last video against Proxima, anytime Thanos is doing something that throws down the purple, you're not going to get guard broken. You can easily run away or switch your character because you're not being guard broken. This, honestly, facing Thanos with Moon Knight is actually pretty damn easy. Even without the Awakened skill, you will do pretty well against them. It's not hard at all. This is one of the easiest characters you could ever play against Thanos. This is That right there is what you got to be careful of. Those purple attacks right there. It, his uh, Moon Knight's fourth skill is actually a pretty long skill. So sometimes if you think you're not going to finish that, because you can't just cancel the skill. Well, you could just hit the two skill and cancel it and then run away. You could do that. And you might notice I will do that. Sometimes when Thanos throws out his blue balls, I'll hit the second skill because it is a iframe, a partial iframe, and it will cancel them blue balls if your immunity isn't up from your fourth skill. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it's just like right there, like whenever Thanos is shooting at you, it's easy to run around, it's easy to attack him. I mean, Moon Knight's just a spectacular character. He's just an all-around spectacular character. I mean, yeah, he's, he's not going to be the greatest in PvP, but PvE-wise, he is a godsend. He is so stupid. And even without the all-defense down, now right there I had to switch, which sucks. I couldn't use my 354 afterwards, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have to switch. Whenever Thanos does that uh, maneuver, you got to get out of there, man. When he 
stomps the ground and brings out the purple cross, is what I call it, you need to get the hell out of there. Unless you think you can run away from it. Okay, we're just waiting. There we go. Alright, now we're going to get that awaken skill on him. A lot of times Thanos, when he goes in his iframe and he comes out of it, this is when you can attack him. So we're just going to hit that awaken skill. And look at the damage from the awaken skill. Even though we have no all defense down. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then whenever I hit the 354, I'm doing, you know, about three quarters of a bar. That is crazy. Stage 50. White Fox, 60% damage to supervillains. Plus we're getting a 10% all attack from a uniform effect. That is bonkers. Bonkers how freaking ridiculous this guy is. This is crazy. Even Mystique couldn't do this, guys. Mystique could not do stage 50 like this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Couldn't do it. Not when, you couldn't put no energy on her and be able to do this. To me, this guy is the best awakened character we have. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't say the best, but he's top two. Top two, top three. Easily. He's definitely the best for Proxima, I can tell you that. I'd probably give the edge to Mystique on against Corvus because speed types actually do much better against Corvus because they don't have a damage reduction like combat types. Come on, here we go. I mean, look at this. Look at this. We're going to clear stage 50 with this dude using a CTP of energy. This is crazy. He's so stupid. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it just makes me so sad that people can't awaken him because they need Morbius. Oh my god. It's such a bum deal. You know, I show this kind of video and I'm just like, oh my god, I, I wish they could get him. I mean, seriously, guys, if you can... I mean, I'm not trying to advocate spending money, but it is worth that $10. Get Morbius because he's an amazing character. And to have this guy awaken, man, he is just too strong. Holy crap. It's not every day we get characters and get reworks like this. So let me know what you think about Moon Knight scoring over 5.7 million in ABX and doing stage 50 Thanos with a free-to-play team other than the fact that he needs Morbius to have his awakened skill. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.